Okay, mm, actually nothing special, just uh, you just you need to know there are uh, different choices on the paste button. Let's recover this. Um, also, let me show you a little bit else. Uh, if you want to insert, uh, insert, insert an empty, empty line, you just uh, uh, click to select this whole row, then right click. There is a insert, but insert button. You can insert if you want to. I don't want to insert now. I want to copy this whole row before this uh, marketing. Right click. You just press the key E on your keyboard. You can be paste. And also, okay, same thing. Okay, we cover, we cover everything. Copy paste. Uh, here are about the paste options. You can read it if you need. It's more detail. Uh, different options. What does it? Uh, what they mean? Oh, okay. This step is about how to insert a uh, empty row. We copied the uh, copied this area. Then we want to add something in here. We want to modify this the copied value. We want to uh, insert an empty row before the row twenty. Just click the row twenty, then click insert button. And then at this empty cell, we want this. Uh, we want to enter the sales revenue for bonus. We are going to use this. Uh, we are going to enter the values on the next column. And we are going to use this value to decide the um, to calculate the bonus. And this is a threshold of bonus. If the uh, income, the bonus uh, is decided by gross margin. I'm not sure. We are going to see the formula later. And we are going to insert another another empty empty row. Can you go back one page just for a minute? I was finishing the okay. last thing. Thanks. Okay. Thanks.
got it. Thanks. Okay. And before the uh, insert an uh, empty row before the bonus, here I, I've, I didn't write is margin. We need to enter margin here. This item is margin. You need to pay attention here. There is a small brush. It's a insertion options button. And here you have option. You can make this cell the same format as below or above because above and below are different. But you choose the format as below. It's difficult to find the small part to notice this pattern. Then um, you see, remember, actually, I always uh, said that whenever you entered, you have better saved or save if your computer is shut down or something accidentally, and the file is closed, you have a saved saved version. So whenever you enter something or you change something, modify something, you have better have the habit uh, of to press the key, control and S to save it. But doesn't some of them do autosave? My Microsoft does autosave. Oh, that's, that, that's better. <laughs> that's good. Um, in the earlier version, when I were Okay, that's all the times. <laughs> so I got the habit of control S. Okay, oh, never mind. Next is to insert a column. Insert a column, you don't need to do anything here. I just want to show you how to insert a column. It's the same as insert uh, a row. Uh, if you want to insert a column before A, you just uh, click on the column head, then right click, then insert button. And also, if you want to insert two columns or multi columns, uh, for example, if you want to insert two columns, you select two columns here on the head, and then you uh, click the insert button, there will be two columns inserted. If you want to insert four or five, you don't need to uh, insert one by one, just select five columns, then a right click insert, you have five columns inserted. Uh, single, insert a single cell, a cell or range of cells. Mm, if you insert, you want to insert a range of cells to somewhere else, the insert button Wait, we didn't have to do that. We were just we were just testing that. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do this. That you just, control Z, right? No. Yes. You have four choice. You can let the original uh, cells shift to right uh, or shift down. Uh, this is 
because this is the first uh, first column. Okay. Yes, and okay. Also, if you like, you can try this shortcut key. I after you right click, you just uh, use the shortcut key. I it will automatically uh, insert it. Shift uh, down. Okay. Um, okay. After I pressed insert for for this slide, um, all the words went to um, row C. Is that what it's supposed to do? Uh, you you see the result, then you can undo because the project we don't need to insert anything here. Oh, we don't actually need to. Yeah. That's confusing. Uh. I'm sorry. It's okay. So what about the other things? Were we not supposed to insert a line at 18 and 19? Or I mean... Um, 18 and 19 is uh, your need is necessary. Uh, the bonus, because you need to uh, enter a margin here before the bonus. This step is necessary. And uh, this one you don't need to do. Insert a column. You don't need to do. And I don't need a column. Oh, that's okay. You don't need to insert a column. Well, how do I get rid of that? Because I, I already uh, made right it cl click on the empty column and right click. There is a delete. If I right click. Yes. My clicking situation is annoying. A right click on the empty column. Empty, see? The empty column. I'm pressing delete, but it doesn't really delete. Okay, here is a practice. Uh, actually, it's a practice for you too. For example, here, I insert uh, insert a empty column and I want to delete it right right Sarah Mm -hmm. See, select here and right click. Do you see this delete button? When I right click, it doesn't, nothing pops up. Oh, wait. Um, where's your delete button? I don't see it. On the head. Then you need to select the column first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then delete. Oh. Yeah, okay, fine, I got it, thank you. You're welcome, this is a basic but useful, commonly used function of Excel. And um, we are here. You don't need to do anything here, but you need to uh, know that when you insert uh, cells, there are such options. You can shift the original cells to right to down, or entire entire row, the whole the whole row. Uh, if you have you have data here. The whole row I shift down, or uh, shift down, or uh, the whole column shift right. Uh, 
For example, I want to insert column uh, cells here. There is an insert button. And if I uh, choose the first one, this result. Can you see my Excel? Oh, you, you are not on my Excel. So we are sorry. Okay. Uh, let me redo. For example, I want to insert some cells, empty cells here. I right click, insert button. See, there are four choices. If I choose the, the first one, the result is like this. And if I choose shift down, only these cells are shift down. The other, uh, the, the other values, the other cells are not affected. So they are there. And if I choose the entire row, entire row uh, shift down. See, uh, everything below this row shift down. And if I, the same thing, the last choice, entire column shift right. Yeah. And this is an empty column. This is the four choices. It's very useful. The insert, insert function. Uh, just select the cells, then right click, you can find this insert button. Okay, let's come back. Um, insert, you right click, you can find the insert button. Also, uh, you can find the insert button on your ribbon area. Ribbon area is just under the home tab, sales group. You can insert and delete if you click this insert. See, here is the, uh, uh, the choices. You can insert cells, uh, a row, a column. And the, after you click this button, the same thing, you will pop up the four choices, shift right, shift down. And delete, delete button. Also, you have choices. You, you want to delete just the selected cells or the row, the whole row you selected, or a column, or you, even you can delete the whole worksheet. These are very commonly used buttons, but very, it's okay, it's very simple. And also, when you delete a, a cell, you need to pay attention. If anyone, uh, any cell use it, ref, refer it as a formula. And the formula, for example, here, with this cell, use D for, here is D4 plus E4 uh, as the formula, the calculation result here, you get five. But now, if you delete the- I'm confused, are we supposed to be doing any of this or this is just like- just uh, No, you don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to do. And just okay. show you what you need to pay attention when you delete a, a, a cell. If you delete the E, uh, the D, D for or E for the other same thing, delete any any one of these two uh call this two cell. And on the formula, the formula cell, you will get an error. Reference uh, R E F is a reference error because the formula it can't find the cell E4. But isn't there two ways, like one you want to just delete the content in the cells and then there's one where you want to delete the cells, right? There's a difference, like if you want to delete the, the information, not the cell format, right? Yeah, yes, you can uh, let the clear contents and the clear format, the difference. Okay, okay.
Okay. Uh, here, uh, this project, we don't need to delete any cells like this. Uh, but in your real work, if you delete, accidentally delete something, or you uh, you see an error on the function cells, you can check if uh, you if you can't find the cells on the formula, the reference on the formula. And next step is to format, uh, format to numbers. Uh, this is just, uh, we already applied this style in last project. Just click the comma on your ribbon. Your ribbon area in the middle of your screen, upper upper side, the ribbon area. There is a comma. We should enter the numbers now. Uh, this this two number you apply the comma styles for it. Yes, you. Uh, sorry, maybe I missed the step. You need to enter all these numbers. Okay, so could you give us, and um, should we put the percentage? Yeah, uh, no, you just need to enter the original. Uh, for example, it's point 70, uh, uh, 78, 75, then you click the percentage button. Oh, uh, also it's okay, you directly enter this format. And remember the increase and the decrease decimals button. You can make two decimal uh, places. Why when I do the percentage from the number, like the format, it got rid of the decimal. It just made it 78, 75%. Uh, okay, you can just enter exactly the same as this. Okay. Why is it not letting me stay at 78.75? It automatically rounds it up to 79%. Oh, you click the increase decimal. Let me show you. Uh, do you see the button here? Can you see? For example, now if I decrease, oh, oh, oh this is. It's something that uh, now, right? See, it's 79. Can you see my screen? Yeah, now and, I see it. It worked now. Thanks. Oh, oh okay. okay. Click this uh, for other students if you don't know how. See, there is an increased decimal button. Now, if you see here on the formula bar, you can see the original number. But if uh, only if you don't have decimal places here, uh, it will be automatically run to 79. But if you click this increase decimal button, 
uh, uh, How do I, I'm having trouble aligning the numbers like it's it's all straight but the the cell the line 20 and 21 are longer because of the zeros oh and I tried to do the a line that you just taught us but it, it didn't make it better oh okay uh these two you have two decimals is also okay and if it's uh, it looks like this is messy yeah just as you said sure, right. do, do you, uh, no i had an, any other question here See, you can see this uh, site rental is a very long number actually here. But never mind about this. Okay, let's go back. I, I can't, I still can't get, wait, can you go back to that slide? Yeah. So my numbers are not that, they're not like that. It's can't get it to all touch the other side, the, the cells. The other, the other side of the cell. Okay, well, let me try that comma style. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, this, this side is too, uh, the vice is, is small, right? No, that I did. I did it big, but I'm talking oh. about, I can't align the numbers like you did. Mine are in the middle. They won't touch the, the side like yours. Because of the because of eight because of twenty and twenty one has the decimals. Oh, how about you make the vice wider of this column? I did that. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll share my screen later and, and you'll tell me. Okay, and they can align. You can uh, align them to right or to uh, to to left. I know that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I will. Uh, let me see your screen later. Uh, now let's continue this. Uh, this number enter, input this number, and then. Calculate the total. We already learned the sum button. You can finish this step. Enter January to June, then click on the sum button, get this number. Are we done with this line? If you don't have a question, let's continue. We still use this dial, add a comma. And after add the comma, this voice is not long enough. It's display 
no sharp signs. You can you can click here to make the arrow column to a best fit size, or you can only make these two columns. Here is after you adjust the column wise. And uh, if you don't have problem here, let's insert the date system date. We want to insert it to this H1 cell. The first step is to select the cell, just a single click. Then click this function button here. And there is a drop down button here. Click it. Click this date and the time. Then click OK. You will pop up this window. Here are a lot of choices. Scroll down. You can find this now. Actually, it's a function, now function. And also, you can see today, today function. Uh, if you scroll, I got something else. I got function arguments. It's now makes me want to put in the year, month, and date. And day. Uh, you don't. You don't need to add any uh, argument. Just click okay. OK. Let me try. Let me try on my screen to see what's the problem. example I want to insert here oh data time and now 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 click okay and you you just click uh okay we don't need argument uh, yeah it worked thank you and then the data and time is insert here here I want to show you uh, show you the today function. Can you see? Actually, here is a formula. Uh, also, we call a function. Function name here is equals now. Here, I want to show you. Uh, you don't need to do, but I want to show you. Uh, show you the today function. The same thing. The same here. You choose date and time, and there is a today. Today. If you choose today, uh, uh, the same thing we don't need, don't need uh, And uh, it will be like this without the time. Now is to time, but today is no time. And also if you don't click this, uh, this function button, you can enter by your hand equals now. and the other parentheses. They have the same result, the same effect. And also today is the same thing, today. Today, uh, this format is follow the, the other one. And the same function, okay, here. I just show you. Yeah, this. Mm, and then, um, because it it has time, we don't. If you don't want to display the time, you can format the date. Um, 
right click, you can find a format cells on the right uh, click short, shortcut menu. You can find a format cells button. And you click that button, this small window will pop up. And here you choose state and choose a format you want. Click OK. And then this format will be the same as the one you choose. Uh, and here, um, some students ask about a question uh, on your homework. Let me see. Um, uh, right? It's your your home your your question. Your question is about uh, why this is uh, not you want to enter January three two thousand and fourteen, right? But here is another format. You can change it. You can change change it here after you format, format. just uh, very simple. One, and it will be the, the date you want. I don't know what's uh, the original format you input. Okay, here is about the date, uh, date enter. And then let's continue uh, some, another concept about the formula. We need to use an absolute, absolute cell uh, reference. Mm, what does the absolute reference, cell reference means? It's, it means, uh, Wherever, wherever you copied and pasted this cell, it always uh, reference the same cell you reference, reference, referred. For example, uh, for example, here this uh, this one, this one is equals B four times B twenty two. This is uh, 22, the 65,000. And uh, what's the difference of this formula um, from the formula we learned last in the past projects? Because they add the dollar signs. This dollar signs means the absolute reference. And this means, see this, this is uh, B4. Uh, this is B4 times B23. If I, if here I just write D4, I don't write the dollar sign. This is a relative reference. And nothing change here. But if I want to copy this uh, formula to the other cells, Um, to the other cells. See the formula is changed. This is C4 times C23, not 22, not B23 anymore. C23 because C23 here has nothing. And this is D23, not B23 anymore. But if we just want to, once this value is um, C4 times B23 is an uh, absolute reference. It's a fi fixed value, fixed cell here. And we need to add the, uh, we still want to use the copy and paste function. We need to add the dollar sign, dollar signs here. Before the column, 
The dollar sign before the column means the column is absolute. It is not changed. The error copy to the column is not changed. If you add a dollar sign before the row number, it means the row uh, row number is never changed wherever you copy, you paste it. And here you copy and paste or use the flash field, that's the same thing. Now, see, it's still B23. It doesn't change. This is the difference. If you add the dollar sign or without the dollar sign. If you only add a one dollar sign at the B column and it's 23. I still want to copy this cell to some else. And the uh see the B B doesn't change. But the row number is changed. So the dollar cents function is just to um, make the row or column unchanged when you paste. Is it clear? Or a little bit confused? What were we supposed to be doing? Were you just explaining? Yeah, just explain why they add the dollar cents here and yeah. what is the function about the dollar cents. If you add the dollar cents here, it means you are doing a absolute reference. F absolute reference means whenever you copy and paste this cell, it always uh, uses the same uh, the same cell. For example, here is B25. Would you be you adding these numbers? Yeah. The, the, num the num uh, row number and the column, uh, column letter it doesn't change wherever you copy and paste it. Um, so uh, I'll give you another example. Um, this one, uh, uh, I'll give you an easy example. Um, this cell is two, this cell is three. And here I want to uh, make a sum of uh, this cell and this cell and this cell. Okay, I don't, I don't copy that complicated. Just copy this cell. This value is equal E19. See, the formula is E19. And whatever I changed, and this this value is changed because its value is equals e ninety, or whatever it changed. But now it's just uh, uh, without dollar sign. If I want to copy it here, it will be equals automatically increase to f ninety, not reference the e e ninety anymore. But if we want to keep it E19 and it's still the same value as this one. I can copy it anywhere. It's always F20, F, F, um, it's equals F21. Oh, sorry. Copy this one. This is absolute, absolute reference. And wherever I paste it, it's all the same formula as this one. Okay, just introduce the formula the sales reference with the dollar cent. 
if you still confused, you can try try to see uh, the numbers here, and the formulas is like this: the with dollar sign, without dollar sign, with dollar sign before the row number, before the column number. You can try the difference. Uh, next is an important function, is an if function. We are going to calculate the bonus. Um, if the bonus is, uh, if, let me see, B4. B4 is the revenue. If the revenue greater than, than, uh, than like this, the sales revenue for bonus, we will set up a bonus uh, here. We are using this value, this bonus value. If smaller, if the revenue revenue is smaller than this value, sales revenue for bonus, this value, we don't give uh, any bonus. It will be zero. Actually, it's very easy. If you earn more money than something, than this, uh, the city 5,000, you have a uh, bonus. Bonus is this value, um, 33,500. If you earn money less than, than this, you will get zero bonus. And um, you need to automatically use the Excel function. It's called the if function. Same thing, we click this button. Uh, First, you need to know which cell you want to apply that function. Click here. And then click this, this small button, this function button. And the insert function button will pop up. In this drop down list, we have a logical, logic, logic or category. And after you click OK, there are different functions. Uh, there are there are different functions under this logical category. And am I missed a step? Let me see. Okay. Yeah, after logical, you need to select if, if function. If everyone gets this, uh, this window, you choose logical. Then there are a lot of, of functions you can use under this category, logical category. And we are going to use this if function. A function, then we click OK. Here, you can enter your logic. Your logic is, is uh, if this revenue is greater or equal than this value. Here is your logic. If yes, we give uh, how many bonus? The bonus is here. We entered on this green area, this area. But here you need to pay attention. We want uh, uh, absolute, absolute, uh, absolute reference. Sorry. So we need to add the dollar signs. This is if true, if false, just give us zero. And here it must automatically give you the value of this cell. It's 5,000, uh, a little bit different from your current 
currently number, but it's okay. Yields should be 3,500. And this one, it also show you the result is false. If you finish these three steps here, you can read if um, you don't understand, you can read carefully about what this said. Then you click OK button, you will get the, uh, the bonus on your cell. Do you have any question here? Is everything going on well? Hello? Yes. Yeah, uh, on that slide, when I entered it, it's, and I press enter, it came out false. And it came out zero. Um, zero here, right? On this value? Yeah, that one. That's correct yeah. because because your uh, your revenue is smaller than this is a five uh, fifty five thousand this is sixty five thousand because because this is smaller than this so we set it to zero here it's zero is correct so if first you you want me to put all those numbers and then do the the B nine. Uh, you need to put all the the numbers on this area, and okay, that makes sense. Okay, and the the numbers on revenue revenue line. Okay, yeah, because I did it without the numbers on the bottom. Okay. Okay, for now, if you want to calculate this bonus, what you need entered is the row uh, revenue, revenue line four, and uh, the what if assumptions area. This this number. Okay, um, we can stop here today, and uh, next class we are going to to the next uh, formula, so they are easier than this one. You can see just some multiplications with the absolute reference of the cells on this, this what if assumptions area. Um, and if you have questions, you can stay here to share your screen with me. And if not, you can leave, see you. Uh, you need to know next Monday. The Monday we don't have class, so see you Wednesday. And uh, on the syllabus, we are planning to have the midterm on uh, October 20, 26. Uh, October 26. And uh, the midterm will be. Um, in class uh, just like this. And I will give two projects. One is a very simple word project, very similar to the classwork or homework we did. And the other is a word uh, Excel project, and the same thing, very similar to what we are doing now. Um, okay, that's it. The, that may be hard, um, two weeks, more than two weeks later. Um, Okay, if you have a question, you can ask now. If no, see you Wednesday. For the midterm, would it be, do I have to finish a joint class time? Mm, yes, and because they, I won't set them very difficult. So uh, you should down in class. And after um, the submit on Blackboard, I will post them on Blackboard as the homework the assignments. Okay.
Let me uh, stop my screen. Are we going to continue this work on Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday. Yes, we, we are going to continue this project. And okay. thank you. Let's share my screen now. Yes. Oh, I see what you mean. I see. Why? Let me.